guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 <clears throat> of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I needed that after just like a couple little minutes of my head. I just I did something stupid. So today is the twenty fifth, right? And in Madoka Magica Magica recording, Goddess Madoka is here. And I was like, okay, let's be stupid. Let's go for her, right? I only had a thousand one thousand two hundred and forty eight gems, I believe. I used them all. Got to like 50 pulls because I had some single tickets. She ain't come home. But one of my other favorite girls did. I mean, ugh. I, I did something stupid last night too. I did two pulls and Idol Master. And the girl I wanted didn't come home either. So I literally have no gems in two different games. And I'm just like. <laughs> Thank you. This is so fucked up. I really just wanted her to come home, but. Gotta save the game. Well, no, I'm not even gonna save her. No, I'm going back to save my Monogatari girls. I just. Ooh. Right? I know how you feel, man. The fact that Ram and my best girl are talking just. Ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there something you want from them? Victoria? Why Victoria? I know! <laughs> Okay, we gotta go now. <laughs> no, fam, you're scaring me, but that's okay. I like getting scared. Hell, I like giving people, having people get scared because of something I do. Darkness, stop. The guys, of course. <laughs> no!
Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, part of you. No, yeah, because y'all didn't get to see it in the other season, in the last season. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Rem. You do that. <laughs> I know, I thought you would have wanted to. <laughs> hmm, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you're supposed to take the eye patch off. Megami, you're going to need some damn glasses. <laughs> Because of her. <laughs> Poor baby. I'm so happy she's in this episode. Oh my god.
Can't my stomach on my stomach. <laughs> what was this episode? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, mm. it, <laughs> in typical, yes, physicals, there are guys who immediately want to go check on the girls and want to know and stuff like that, yeah, because it's happened. But I mean, the fact is that Cosmo was literally just waiting and waiting. I thought immediately that him and Subaru would have, like, gone right then and there and then would have came straight back. But he waits until all the girls are done and then he's just like, mm, yeah, shit, I missed it. So I was like, dude, you are so freaking late. Like, oh my god. <laughs> what was this episode? Like, the Pito was in it. Pito announced me, even though I'm telling you, no, oh my god, no best girl. Like, oh my god, like, where the hell was she? She was there, but you know, we just, we just didn't get to see her, which sucks because, I mean, oh my god. But <laughs> I can't. This is so good, but oh my god, like, because I kept wondering, like, in the beginning, just seeing what's his name. Talk. I was like, are, are, what are we doing? Are we, are we going this way today in this episode? I was like, I mean, for a moment, like, because, like, yesterday, when I was watching Sassanon Academy, like, they went in into the BL <laughs> on that episode, and I was like, okay, we're doing that today as well. I was like, wait, let's go. I need that today. <laughs> Because having, like, a really bad couple of minutes and then having a rest of the, like, for, like, what, 11, 12, 13 minutes, having them be so much better than the first few minutes of gotchas and right up as a fucking lie, usually. But, I mean, yeah, it, it was hilarious. I really enjoyed it. Hell, I mean, even with Pandora's actor, I was just like, okay, yeah, you're just asking questions. You think something is cool and stuff. I, don't, I love the fact that he commented on me his outfit because yes i mean honestly out of everybody's outfit i mean <clears throat> for each series on its own it's really if i want to if we're gonna if i'm rating it on outfits yeah tawny is number one because i've always liked it then i would have to say shield hero then after shield hero would be overlord and then after overlord would be uh would it be Cosmo? yeah 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 it would be kind of super and then after that it would be B zero but like i know somebody's gonna be like well why the freak did you put re zero on the bottom it's not uh, some i liked some of the outfits of the show but not every single one there were ones that did wow me a lot and when i watched it by myself but then there were ones where i was like eh i, I mean this is the same thing with a little bit with some of the outfits and freaking kind of super because i was just like oh like damn that looks nice i would love to do wear that one day but then some of them i was just like Eh. Mm. <laughs> my favorite. Like, oh my god. Out of all the freaking characters, I was not really I was expecting her to kind of be more in season one rather than season two. But I'm glad she finally made an appearance. Now it makes me wonder when um no, because she already made an appearance in season one when um as her human form. So it could be a possibility she might show up as the other character from the first episode of Connoisseur. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I I literally it's been like forever since I watched Connoisseur, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Retroids episode 7 of season 2 of Isekai Quartet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.